How's it going guys? We have a past level question for step one. Not hard, not complicated, not dramatic. Tell you exactly what you need to know, not waste your fucking time. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-A-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now I'll start the clip. 43-year-old man, painless lateral neck mass, has waxed and waned over the past year. No past medical history. Vitals are within normal limits. He has a 1418 translocation. Which the following best explains the pathogenesis of this patient's condition? Let's just whip through the answer choices here. We'll go backwards. Choice E, transcription factor. Wrong fucking answer. This refers to Burkitt lymphoma, which is an 814 translocation. C, Mike gene. Okay. Uh, almost always a jaw lesion in an African boy. Can be intra-abdominal. And uh, I should mention real quick that this is going to present with a starry sky appearance on biopsy. Okay, so you're going to have a background of basophilic purple cells. Those are your, those are your lymphocytes. And then you've got more transparent appearing macrophages. Those are called tingible body macrophages, not tangible, tingible. And they undergo apoptosis. Okay, so very fucking weird. There's a question on one of the NBME exams for step one where they have an arrow pointing to one of the macrophages on the starry sky appearance. And the answer to that question is just apoptosis. Okay, fucking weird as I just said. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, oncogenic tyrosine kinase. Wrong answer. This refers to CML, chronic myelogenous leukemia. The 922 translocation Philadelphia chromosome uh, produces an oncogenic tyrosine kinase. And we treat this with a matinib, which that drug can cause fluid retention. If they want CML, they're going to give you a smear showing a motley mix, a soup of cells. I made prior clips on this stuff, very buzzy. Also, they might give you the labs showing you all different types of cells that have myelo in them, myelocytes. Promyelocytes, metamyelocytes, low leukocyte ALP. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, EGFR tyrosine kinase. Wrong answer. This refers to non-small cell lung cancer and some CNS cancers, but you similarly wants you to know that there's a drug called erlotinib, erlotinib, which targets EGFR tyrosine kinase in non-small cell lung cancer. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, defective recombinational double-stranded DNA pair, wrong answer. This refers to BRCA, the breast cancer gene, BRCA. So this isn't me trying to be fancy or creative, okay? This is asked on one of the new NBME exams. They just give you a simple scenario of familial breast cancer, and they ask for the molecular defect, and it's just recombinational double-stranded DNA repair. Wrong fucking answer. Choice A, anti-apoptotic molecules, correct answer. This is follicular lymphoma, okay? So 1418 translocation, BCL2 gene. Okay, in follicular lymphoma, most common indolent non-Hodgkin lymphoma, which means that it's slowly progressing at first. So a year, two years, waxing, waning, painless lateral neck mass. In contrast, the most aggressive non-Hodgkin lymphoma is going to be diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. But follicular lymphoma, 1418 translocation, BCL2 gene, anti-apoptotic molecule, extremely high yield for step one. And as I just fucking said before, this is important to contrast this with Burkitt lymphoma, C Mike gene, 814 translocation, transcription factor. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.